Hey, hello and welcome once again to my YouTube channel. This is Flex Image. If this is your first time visiting, don't forget to drop a like. Uh, also, do subscribe so that YouTube can recommend my video to people who I need to watch it just like you. So, you can see the result of this picture is on green backdrop, which was actually taken on brown backdrop. This is the before and this is the after of my picture. So, I'll be showing you how to do that with just few steps and also i've actually customized the background which i'll be giving to you guys so if you want to know how i do get on my background i actually dropped a video about two or three weeks ago on how i generate my background using ai so there's this particular website i make use of and i did an in-depth video of it which is the leonardo.ai so here's where i generate 90 percent of my background these days which i use now starting from i think about two months ago so most of the background i use are generated from here you can just go and generate whatever you want there. This is not even the one that I've actually generated. I generate this is the maternity background. This is another maternity background I generated about three days ago, which I use on a particular project. So you can just go generate as many backgrounds as possible. The beauty about this is that they'll be giving you 150 free credit every blessed day. So if you get 150 credit today, you can generate about 20 backgrounds or so. And once that one expires, if you don't want to pay for the premium, which is tomorrow, you generate another 20 set again. So you can use 20 all in a day. You just keep on generating and you can have like two to three accounts there. You generate as many backgrounds as you want. So instead of you paying money for background, if you see any background online, which I'll be dropping a video, and just tell the AI to create a replica of that background for you. Then you have it in your collection as simple as that. So that's that's the reason, that's the way I actually got this particular backdrop, which I make use of. So I'll be showing you how I actually add this background to my picture to make it look this cool. So the background I downloaded was red in color. So I just have to change the colors. I will show you how I blend everything all together. So no further ado, let's jump into action. So I'll go to my prime manager where the picture is located. So this is the picture I'll be using right now. All I just need to do is to drag it down to my Photoshop. Wait for it to load up. So the picture was shot on RAW, so it's going to take me straight to the camera row. All I just need to do here is to do my basic adjustment, just like the white, the white, the highlight, the contrast, the shadow. I just have to balance the major colors of I'll be color grading the rest in Photoshop. So once I'm done with this right now, the next thing I just need to do is to click on my open icon and I'll wait for it to load up. So let's see what it's going to give us right now. So once it loads up, the first thing you need to do, I do advise you guys, whatever you want to do any manipulation, make sure you, you retouch your picture first. The retouching is the first aspect for manipulation. So I just know if you have to make any mistake in manipulation, all you just need to do is to do it. Go back there and complete the manipulation because if you want to retouch after manipulation you have to blend all the layer backs together again and start afresh which is going to take a hell lot of time so let's say this is our first step we are done with our first step we retouch our picture the next thing is for you to resize our picture but the reason why i do resize is you can leave your picture this way but i love posting my picture on instagram so when i love i don't like it when instagram resizes my picture for me just as i usually see in my other videos so i'll just resize my picture myself by going to my crop tool you can see right now so i'm going to as you can see my size on 4x5 already which is the instagram size i use the instagram default size i use in posting my picture but you see the moment i set it on 4x5 look at what it did for it it cut some of the outer area and there's no enough border room at the top as long as i now actually crop it out here in photoshop myself before i do manipulation do the same thing that is going to happen to me when i want to post the picture on instagram on Instagram, we have to do what we size the picture to the size they want. So, why not do that myself in Photoshop? So, let's say just go to my crop. So, right now, I'm going to expand from this side or expand from the top also again. I want there to be a no border room. I can also do the same thing to the footer area also again. Now, click on my enter key. The message for we to do was for we to separate our subject from the background. So, I'll be going to the other picture which I've actually retouched my picture. Don't worry about this layer, this is just a sample layer for us. So I've retouched my picture and I actually have a safe selection for my, for my subject. So I don't want to take much time in selecting my subject right now. So here's the background we are right now. Let's duplicate this background layer by clicking on Ctrl J. If you're using a MacBook, it's going to be a Command J there. So let's name this layer now our subject layer. Subject. Let's say we're done with that. Next thing we need to do is to select our subject. So there are so many tools out there you can use in selecting. We have the quick selection, we have the polygonal. Whatever works best for you. Just use that tool to select your subject. And if you don't know how to select, please kindly go and watch my previous video. Because if you don't know how to select, you can't actually think of starting manipulation. 
that's the most important step when it comes to manipulation that's the idea to actually get once you get that i don't think you, have, you should have much issue again when it comes to manipulation so the, on the subject layer right now i'll go to select i'll load my selection the reason why i was able to read the selection this way is that you know I've, i'm done with the picture already i've actually retouched the picture i've colored with it i've added the background i want to add before so i, I saved the selection i don't want to go through the process of doing that again with you guys it's going to take a little bit of time to perfect it like this so which i actually saved already that's the reason why i was able to bring it back like this so let's say we are done with selection right now next thing you just need to do is to feather your picture a little bit right click on it sorry go to the selection tool any selection to polygonal lasso to or quick selection so right click on your subject then go towards go to feather under feather make sure you are selecting two to three pixel just to make sure you don't have a sharp edge around your picture so i use two pixel click on my okay next thing i need to do is to click on my max icon over here so what we just did right now is we separated our subject from the background but you won't know what we did until you turn off your background layer you can see right now we have our subject on the separate background so let's turn this background right now that being said right now next thing we need to do is to fill this entire area up all this area we want it to be this this background color exactly how to do that very very simple go back to the background layer and duplicate it so on this layer now let's rename this to our words adjustment let's name it adjustment you can name it anything you want this is just formality this is not necessary this is just a formality just to know the layer you're actually working on so this is just the formality to know the layer you're mm -hmm. actually working on so the next thing we need to do right now is to do what hold down your control key and click on the max of the subject layer so that's going to bring back the selection for you once it does just go to select that's select go to modify then I'm modify go to expand so the radius i use is actually a fixed radius for me which is 8 pixel so what this does is actually it's actually okay let's go back a bit let's go back a step so i can see what it does let's cancel this let me zoom in very well so pay attention to this let me use this area as an example right now so i'll just go to the select on that select i'll go to modify i'll go to expand i'll expand by 8 pixel and i'll click on ok this is what it did for us it actually distance give a little bit of space from the background to the subject selected part of the subject the reason we want to do this is we want to fill this area up also with the initial background so we don't want any remnant of the background or any remnant of the coat or the air to remain in the background that's the reason why we did what we did right now so we are going to add to this selection right now by using our rectangle marker tool once you click on it make sure it's an addition so scroll from the top reaching the edge make sure you're selecting all the area you want to remove and selecting part of the background also again so i'll do the same to the right hand side i'll do it very well the reason why I was able to select multiple is because I actually put it on addition. Don't forget that. I'll do the same thing here also again, but I'm not actually picking the stand. I'll still pick the stand, stand again. So I'll do the same to the footer area. Next thing I just need to do is just to right click on it. I'll go to fill under fill. I'll make sure I click on content away. Then I'll click on OK. And I'll wait for it to load up. So what it's going to do is going to fill this entire area up for us with the initial background color. So what we're just doing right now, you're expanding the backdrop. Once you're done with each step, all you just need to do is to work, bring in our background, then we'll call it a day. So let's wait for it to load up and see what it's going to give to us. And boom, it did exactly what we say it's going to do. So control D to the select. So what it did for us is actually fill all those entire area up to the initial background. If someone does not see where we are manipulating this or we are extending this, might think this is how wide the backdrop is from the scratch. So meanwhile, we did the extension ourselves. So you can decide to go on the next step by blurring out the background to making it smooth but we are basically changing the entire background so we, i don't think we need to do that all you just need to do is just to go where the file is located and this file the way i created this background let me go to my file manager the way i created this background i created it in a way that there is no footer area again you know the moment i downloaded the background it actually came with a footer area before right came with a footer area let me open it so i can see what i'm talking about it came in with a wooden area which i don't want the floor to be there because i want to retain the initial flow of my picture so i actually did what i created it like this which i actually did what i removed the initial background there on the floor and retained the curtains alone so we just have to drag down the curtain in my photoshop so the beauty about this background is that you don't need to worry about what you retaining shadow or anything you are good to go so i'll drag it to the way i want it to be i think i can i can expand it a little bit more let's say i want it to be around this way what I just need to do is to click on my enter key. Well, you see, there's a difference there from the one I did. This is the one I did. The background color and this footer area color is the same thing. 
very very easy to actually rectify right now so click on the adjustment layer you know the background we brought in right now is between our subject layer and our adjustment layer so it has to be below our subject layer so click on the adjustment layer itself go to your adjustment uh, cover adjustment layer over here and click on what click on saturation first thing you need to do is to do what click on colorize it actually gives us a random color but the beauty about it is right now is that once you are changing this, this you are actually sliding this you you're going to be changing color so you are going to be you are going to keep changing the color once it actually give you what you want i think i want it around this green but it's too what is too light to my liking so come to the lightness there eh? drag down the lightness do you see fit okay let me say i don't like it let me increase the color a little bit let me say i don't like it this bit so just keep messing with the slider till you get what you want i think around this way is actually okay it's very very simple and straightforward you just achieve the background which you want to achieve with just simple clicks so the next thing you need to do is to color grade in aspects for me to do that right now just click on my uppermost layer so if you want to know how to create color grading action please kindly watch my next video i'll be showing you how to click create action for color grading instead of just using lots every time so you can just save yourself the cost there will be some time you get a actual color grading and it's going to be very very nice and you want to use it on your next picture but you want to make sure adjustments to it so it's better for you to save it on action instead of using lots so i'll be dropping a video on how to create action on that and list it soon so i'll be using two lots for this particular picture right now the first one is called my Mela chocolate if you have been watching my video in the past you will know i love using that lot a lot what it does is actually harmonize everything, darken all the pictures for me, give me a low light vibe. And as you can see, I'm actually a low light photographer. I love my picture to be low light. I don't like too much lighting in my picture. So I'll go to my adjustment layer, click on my color lookup. I want to buy all my lots. They are really for sale in my store. You can just go to my store and make purchase today. So click on load 3D lot, scroll down. I will just go to wall, my Mela chocolate. Click on it and boom. Look at what it did for us. It actually harmonized everything. But the darkness is a little bit too much my liking because my object is a light skin person. What I just need to do is to come to the opacity. I'm going to bring it down a little. But this is okay. So click on the subject layer again. Put adjustment layer. Click on color lookup. This time around, I want to color the skin alone. Click on load 3D load and I'm going to scroll down to my perfect skin. I'll click on it. Boom. This is what it did for us. It actually increased our objects. As in, the skin is actually glowing, but it's a little bit too much and it's actually affecting the entire picture. That's the reason why I created it directly above my subject layer. All I just need to do right now is just to click on the max icon, so it's going to be affecting my subject. But this time around, the color is a little bit too much, so come to the opacity, drag it down till you see fit, and boom, you are good to go. Just manipulate this picture using this simple customized background, no stress at all. So, if this video helped, don't forget to drop a like. Someone out there might be in need of this video. So see you guys in my next video tutorial. Reflex out. So in case you're interested in getting any of my picture editing file, from my overlays down to my color lookup, which is my lot file. So you just have to scroll down to your video. So under the comment, this is my description. So it's not going to load the description for you. You just have to click on show more, click on it. So it's going to show all the options. Once it does that, just click on my store link. So here's my store link. Once you click on it, it's going to take you directly to my store. So you can actually select any file you want. From the color lookup, this is a light skin lot. This is a feather which I use in my recent video. This is 100 premium baby overlays. This is my fourth video course. This video course entails on how to download all the files I want. The site I use in downloading all my files free of charge, including my Photoshop panels also. This includes my PNG files, this includes all my packs, all my picture editing files, my premium overlay, my PNG, my flying fabric, my color lookup, my presets. So once you buy this, you've already bought everything apart from this one. So here is my flying fabrics. Here is my, in case you want to give me any project for me to work on. Here is my color lookup, here is my background overlay, and here is my preset file. So in case you're interested in buying any one, you can actually go for them. The good news there is that you can actually buy your own currency, any currency of your choice, you can buy with any currency of your choice.